Democratic gubernatorial candidate in Arizona, Fred Duval, was dubbed by the Arizona GOP to be the most uninteresting man in the world. They said he can't connect with uh, voters and there's no way he'll win. And to be honest, the dude does look pretty boring. But uh, what's interesting here is uh, what Duval did in response. And it's actually raising a little bit of controversy. So he released a picture of uh, himself dressed up as the famous commercial character, the most interesting man in the world, uh, from Dos Equis. And some people are saying, hey, that's uh, unacceptable because it looks as if he may have darkened his skin a little bit. I don't know how they did it through makeup or tanning or whatever the case is, or just by changing the lens on the camera or adjusting the color of it. And they said, no, man, look, you can't do that because that's, that's racial in, in some ways and uh, it's uh, offensive. Okay. So let me just say, totally ridiculous. He was called the most uninteresting man in the world. This is only the most clever and rational response ever. And for the record, maybe I'm alone here, but I didn't even uh, necessarily realize that the most interesting man in the world was Latino. And I read that it's, uh, he's actually based on an, uh, a, a guy from Argentina. And Argentina is kind of in this zone where uh, like, it's a mix between white and uh, Latino. Their skin tone is like a mix between the two. So people do get confused in, in that way. So I, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one, maybe I'm not. But when it comes to racism, don't do the boy who cried wolf bullshit, right? Because that's what it is. So when we want to have a, co a conversation about real racism, so the pay gap, for example, example, where black people make 83 cents to the white person's dollar, when we want to talk about systemic racism and actual problems, like when you put a black name on a resume, this study, I always reference black name on a resume, white name on a resume, everything else the same, the white name gets 50% more hits. Well outside, uh, you know, uh, the margin where you could just toss it up to chance, right? So when we want to talk about that stuff, we can't have your baggage where you make ridiculous claims like this is racist. Dude, it was clever, it was clever, get over it, get over it. And uh, when, when you're faced with a question, is it racist, is it not? Ask yourself two things. What is the context and what is the intent? So in this case, the context is a clever response. He was called the most uninteresting man, so he said, how about I'm the most interesting man? He also sent a, a case of Dos Equis to his opponents and it said, uh, stay desperate, my friends, on it, instead of stay thirsty, my friends. Oh, that's awesome. That's so witty, I love this guy. And th look, the intent of it is to make people laugh. There's no racial angle. And they even talked to a, a Latino representative in Arizona, and even he said, I'm not offended at all. What are you talking about? Now, he did add the caveat, well, it was stupid what he did, but I'm not offended at all. But I even take it a step further. I don't think it's stupid at all. I think it's actually really smart. So, look, we'll talk about racism when we need to talk about racism, which is very often, don't get me wrong, it always rears its ugly head. But don't do it in instances like this. It just weakens our case when it actually matters.